Hey everybody, um, I'm here to do a video on a couple things. I have a birthday package that I just got from my birthday swap. And also I wanted to share with you um, the finished product of my recipe box. And it, I had a request to show how I made it. Sorry. Um, so I'll kind of go into this. The base of my box was one of those dollar um, bin uh, recipe boxes and you can kind of see inside the paper that originally was but I didn't think it clashed too much so I just left it. And what I did was I picked out the paper line which was Mom's Diner um, from Recollections and this is actually a piece from it. This is the wood grain. Um, on the top, this was like a 12 by 12 I laid the box down on there and I traced around the part where I want to put the sunshine and I glued that down. I cut down the curtain so they would fit and I cut out the words good morning sunshine um, and I inked around all the edges. Then this is a um, border strip and it says come for the food stay for the hugs and I just cut that down to size and glued it down but before I did that I glued down this kind of old retro looking diamondy turquoise paper and then the whole base of the box is this wood grain paper so basically what I did was I took this paper cut it to size and then just glued it down on there then Honestly, I can't remember what this border strip was off of. I'm guessing it might have been off of that Good Morning Sunshine paper, but I'm not sure. But I just cut that to fit, and it obviously wasn't long enough, so I just left the ends, you know, the wood. And I inked all around that. And then with my crocodile, I came in, and I made the holes and added the buttons. And I could only do that on the front side. Then on this side, I just cut, I think this was a border strip, I just cut it kind of so it would look like a napkin. Cut out this bird, glued him on, and then I took a knife or a, you know, cutting blade and I cut his head so he would open. Same thing on the back, same thing on the other side. Um, oh, the words, let's eat. This is actually... Um, Versamark and black embossing powder and it's just using the Heidi Swap stamp set and I really like how it turned out. I wish I would have had like brown embossing powder but oh well. And then I covered the whole thing with um, a Mod Podge and I freaked out because it totally got all rumply. It was like blah, 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 all over and I freaked out and I was like, oh well, who cares? But it totally laid out smooth and glossy and perfect. Actually, it's not glossy because it's matte finish. Um, afterwards. So I did two coats of that. I would have done the glossy, but I didn't have any, so I had to borrow my sister-in-law's. And that's what she had. Um, and I kind of like it because it kind of almost gives the wood a real look. But the only thing that I didn't like was the Mod Podge really made it so it doesn't look embossed at all. It just looks inked on there. Which I don't hate, but I just wish it looked like that pretty, you know, embossed look. The bottom I covered with just some paper. I just did kind of, I just lined them all up. And then I wrote a message on the bottom. And I inked around all the edges, too. Just to give it a really finished look. Then the inside. Here are all the recipe cards. I'll pull them out. I have a couple things left, like going to glossy accent the sun size. And um sorry, my phone off. <laughs> and this heart, I need to re glossy accent because it's not really glossy anymore because I put the mosh podge over it. And then I'm gonna glossy accent, you know, a couple other things on the front. But here is the cards. I just did sections and I cut this out of the pattern paper and glossy accented the syrup. I'm stamped the word breakfast. And then I printed off the recipes on a 
um, recipe making website. It's totally free. Just go on to, there's my dog. <laughs> Just go on to, what I did was I went on to Google and I typed in um, type and print recipe cards. And then this, I think, this website was the second, first or second um, one that popped up. And then on the backs of some of them, they have like a little decoration. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show you all of them. But, yeah. So this one has the printed background, just a plain background. Um, let's see, I see this one has a little bit of a, I probably could have stuck this recipe on the side, but I said not to. That's cute. And then here's dessert with the ice cream cone. I think the glossy accents really made it cute. And then, yeah, these are just plain ones, I believe. I gotta hurry because I have one other thing to show you. And there's the dinner with the forks. And then some of them I did do double-sided, like this one. Because I ran out of cards. Oh, this one has the sun on the back. That one has the birds. And then I ended up making one more section. And she's going to have a baby. Um in August so I made a baby food section and I just put this baby eating food and I cut the bib and the baby food on his mouth out with a different color of paper so I thought that turned out really cute and then I just put some baby food recipes down on there and the only other thing I have to finish is the card that says other for like appetizers and stuff and I rounded the corners and inked all the edges, and then on the ones that were like the separators, I left the corners on there, because you can kind of tell the difference, because their height is different. So you kind of can pull back, you know where the sections are separated. So that's that, and I will show you when I get it all put together and wrapped up, because I, I think it's going to be cute, because the stuff I bought her to go with it matches the recipe box. Um, and I've got to hurry to show this present. Um, this present was from uh, Dana. So I got it. She said she doesn't have a whole lot of scrapbooking stores around her. So she put an order in for me um, at scrapbooking.com. She got me the white gel pen from Tomo Mono. And I'm so excited to use it because I've only ever used one kind of um, gel pen. So I'm curious to see how it writes. So that was exciting. And then... Um, these Element Brads, which I actually love. If you know anything about me or are doing the birthday swap, my thing does say I don't like bling. But I love this bling. <laughs> I like the ones that kind of look like diamonds, like a diamond ring or something. So it's really pretty. and has four different colors of metal. And they're itty bitty. And then I'm super excited about this. It is the Colorbox Chalk Stylus set. And it comes with a nice long stylus. And the five color box cat eyes. Um, they are olive pastel, chestnut roan, rum, I don't know, <laughs> more red, um, blush rose, and bisque. So I'm so excited to use these. I've been dying to get color box chalk forever. So I was so excited to get these. Um, thank you so much, Dana. Love, love, love your gift. And I've been loving getting gifts, as I probably say on every video. I feel so spoiled. And I can't believe I still have, what is it, five or six left to get. So, um, you guys have a good weekend. Happy Valentine's Day. Have a great time. And I will be back later to show you my recipe box all wrapped up. So, see you later. Bye.